30-minute reviews, beware of spoilers, and exploring hyperspace lanes are all available ad-free. But if you want to support the show, you can go to bewareofspoilers.com and click the support button that's available on the Spotify website. Thank you. Good morning, or evening, and welcome to Beware of Spoilers, I am Adam, and as you can tell, I'm still sick. Um, yesterday, if you listened to Exploring Hyperspace Lades, you heard me and Josie talk about it, I have a cold and I'm a little nasally, um, but that's not going to stop us from talking about uh, Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Um, yeah. Um... But let's get into it because I'm tired and I'm not feeling great. And we're going to keep it short. Um, Super Mario Bros. Wonder is a game that... It was kind of announced out of the blue. Um, and it kind of came out of nowhere. And I... You know, it... It's good. I'm not saying it's not good. That's the one thing I wanted. Like, this is a 5 out of 5 game. This is very much worth playing. I think that in a world where... It's a little easy. Um, like, the creativity is off the charts on this game. And, and and I really like a lot of the design, especially when you get into... When you use the Wonder Flower and you end up in all these things, it doesn't feel like anything is reused, which is really good, cool. Um, and it's, it's so not buggy, which is amazing. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that this is a game that was released, not on a timetable. It wasn't released to hit a certain date. It was take as much time as you need to make the new Super Mario 2D platformer, and you will, you know, we'll put it out when it's done. And to that end, this game is really good, and I think it handles that very well. I do have an issue with the fact that the game is kind of short. Um, I didn't. Let me grab my Switch real quick. Um. It doesn't say. Um, it just says last played five. You know, started playing five days ago, which is accurate because I bought it on release day and started playing it that night. Um, and it's now Wednesday, so that all tracks. Um, the the issue is, it, I would be shocked if by the time that's visible, I played the game for more than eight to ten hours. Um, and that's just to get through the main story. Um, and, and it's not like I was doing the bare minimum to get through. Because it's very easy to rack up a lot of Wonder Seeds. And it's not like I was going slow to to get all the seeds or to, you know, to, to get everything. But, like, I wasn't going through with the intent to 100% as I went. But at the same time, I wasn't going through with the, you know... Let me get the 15 I need to open up the next part of the level and then keep going. Let me get the, the you know, whatever the minimum is. It would still let me get as much of the, the seeds as I can. Um, and, and complete as many of the levels. I think that, like, all the main levels, like, I, I did discover after that there are some levels that are hidden. Like, you have to do something in a certain, like, the, the first real world, not the intro world, where they kind of, you know, onboard you into everything. The first real world you go to, there are, um... There's a hidden level where if you finish a level, the, the this level a certain way, um, and and like jump at the right time, you get to a certain place, and you go you can go from there, and and you unlock something different. Um, and it opens up a new path and new levels. Like that was something different where I wasn't going out of my way to really do that. I was trying to just anything that was visible and and easy to do as you're playing. I was going through and doing that. Um, so there is some replayability if you do want to beat the game to 100%, which I may do, just to, to say I did, um, without a trophy system, I think, or, or an achievement system, I think, I, I think that Nintendo needs that, but without that, I'm not as incentivized to do it, um, especially when I got Stardew Valley kind of beckoning me, um, so, so we'll see if I, if I do end up doing that or not, um, but at the end of the day, I think that the... The issue that I have with this game is, is the length, and, and, and I think that, too, it's like, you know, it it's really fun, and the levels are really well designed, and, and all of that. It's, 
I, I would have liked more difficulty because even like the quote unquote challenge levels that you can get are not challenges really. Um, even the ones that are like five stars and they're 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 glowing like an inflamed hemorrhoid, like bright red. Even those levels aren't super difficult to the point where it's like I gotta turn this off. Like it it still is this kind of simplistic early you know early gaming kind of like this is gonna be a game that's gonna be great for for kids i think this is gonna be a, this is a great onboarding platformer um i can see this being a huge seller come christmas because this is a great game to like introduce your kid to a platformer uh where there's enough forgiveness there's enough like difficulty options that you can turn on and off like there's there's a there are a few options that are like if you're looking for stuff, there's a sensor option that you can turn on, and it lets you see where things, you know, kind of are. Um, oh, you're near a wonder seed. Oh, you're near one of the the purple tokens that gives you ten of the flower kingdom coins. That kind of thing is kind of helpful. And then there's also like, you know, uh, a badge that helps you. So if you fall into lava, you'll jump right out. So it gives you basically an extra life right there. Uh, if you, uh, if you want more, you know, platforms to jump on, there's a, a badge that will give you extra, uh, what's it called? They'll give you extra, uh, platforms to jump on and extra exclamation point blocks. Like, that, that kind of thing is all really cool. Um, I just think that the game is kind of, um, it's skewed in an easy way. So if you're someone who's looking for a, a complex, difficult, like a challenge, from, from a, a 2D Mario game, I'd have to say you should probably check out Mario Maker and see some of the fan-made levels there. Those are going to give you the challenge you're looking for, or like a Celeste. Um, this is not going to give you that. And and I, and I realize, like, it's a, it, is a, it is a mascot platformer for Nintendo. It is their flagship mascot platformer. That said, I mean, playing this game, after coming off of playing Super Mario 3... Or Super Mario Advance Four, Super Mario Three, um, on the on on Switch Online on the Virtual Console, like there's a marked difference in difficulty. Um, even if you go back to, like I remember having more. I haven't played the game in a while, but you know, New Super Mario Bros for the 3DS. I remember having more difficulty with that um, than than there is here. And and I get you kind of want to onboard people. Um, but at the same time, it feels like you're you're putting in more options to make the game easier. There are a ton of options to make the game easier from the already kind of simplistic difficulty early on. Um, like, you're starting there, and then it's just, it gets easier from there. Um, which is kind of an odd choice, if you ask me. Um, you would think you would want to put it in both directions a little bit. Have, have difficulty options that made the game get harder as you go, um, instead of it being whatever the base is. I ended up finishing out with 78 lives, uh, to give you a sense of how little I died, and, and how easy it is to collect coins in the game, um, and how plentiful lives are, um, but, uh, but yeah, we'll wrap up there for today, because I'm not feeling great. Uh, let's see, coming up from us, we have a few things coming up, some things are embargoed we can't wait really to talk about. Uh, this Saturday, we'll be doing Five Nights at Freddy's. Uh, next week, we'll be doing the Persian version on the 2nd, and what happens later on the 4th. Uh, we might be doing the Marsh King's Daughter on the 3rd, but that'll depend on a few things that are still up in the air. Um, namely, how A-List resets uh, with having an outstanding ticket later on. Uh, and then the Marvels on 11.10. We will also be doing Spider-Man in the near future, Spider-Man 2 for the PS5. So, until our next episode, have a great rest of your week.